Who doesn't love a heaping bowl of spaghetti? Quite possibly one of the most popular starchy comfort foods, pasta is a weekly staple for most families. But can your feline also indulge in some penne or linguine with you every now and then? According to experts, maybe. Pasta is safe for many cats to sample from time to time. However, like most human foods, there are some safety considerations that you should make, and potential dangers to keep in mind, before serving your cat spaghetti. You might even be tempted to feed the leftover pasta to your cat, but can cats eat pasta? Can cats eat pasta? Like many meals that your pet might take an interest in, it isn't so much the pasta itself that can be hazardous, it's how it's prepared. The basic ingredients of pasta, flour, water, and eggs, are typically okay for cats to eat. The shape of the pasta also doesn't matter due to its soft texture, so whether your preference is rotini or linguine, it should be fine for your cat to sample. That being said, while the ingredients in pasta shouldn't cause any major health issues in your cat, they also don't provide much nutritional value. Cats are carnivores, and therefore should really be getting most of their food nutrition from sources of protein, like fish or chicken. In fact, protein deficiency is a serious condition and can lead to dangerous health problems in cats, which is why if you're going to offer your kitty human foods, you'll probably want to supplement their diet with healthier, more nutritious options like salmon, fruits and veggies, or even certain types of cheese. Whole grains do find their way into many cat and dog foods, these agents only serve to add bulk and bind the food, and don't provide any important nutritional value to our four-legged friends. Pasta is also deficient in the important vitamins and minerals that both felines, and their human counterparts, need on a daily basis. Gluten allergy in cats Gluten intolerance in cats is a rare and severe digestive complication in felines that is triggered by the consumption of gluten-rich foods such as wheat-based diets. Cats are true carnivores and cannot break down gluten as they lack the specific enzymes required to digest the molecules. As a result, gluten is not natural to feline diet, and overconsumption of it can trigger allergic reactions in cats. Symptoms of Gluten Allergy in Cats Weight Loss Gluten allergy may trigger weight loss in some cats as their stomach lining gets irritated so much that nutrient absorption nearly comes to a halt in the digestive system. This leads to a drastic loss of weight. Gluten allergy in cats makes their stomach so irritable that most cats will stop feeding, which increases the rate of weight loss. Chronic diarrhea, gluten intolerance in cats is rare, however, gluten sensitivity is more common and is majorly signified by frequent and chronic diarrhea. This leads to a drastic loss of electrolytes and dehydration. Chronic diarrhea may also make your cat look fatigued. Chronic diarrhea requires immediate attention from the vet and a constant supply of clean drinking water for your cat to keep it dehydrated. Feline asthma. Feline asthma is an allergic respiratory disease that affects cats. It is classified as a chronic progressive disease which means it advances as the cat gets older, and there's no cure. Consumption of pasta that is rich in gluten may at times trigger feline asthma in older cats leading to wheezing, labored breathing, and coughing, which can be potentially life-threatening to the cat. Itchy and dry skin. Consumption of gluten-rich foods may trigger itchiness and dry skin which is not only uncomfortable for the cat but also leads to excessive scratching, which can result in open wounds and bacterial infections. Pasta is also low on nutrients required to maintain healthy skin and coat, these include omega-3 fatty acids and zinc. Vomiting Vomiting is the first observable reaction to a cat eating something that isn't settling well with its stomach. After consuming gluten-rich foods such as pasta, gluten-sensitive cats will often vomit to try and get rid of the allergen. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The dangers of pasta for cats. But while the pasta isn't necessarily good for your cat, it certainly won't harm him or her to have a little bit every once in a while as long as the pasta is served plain and isn't coated with either tomato or creamy sauces, which can be either too acidic or creamy and high fat, butter, or any additional ingredients. Some ingredients that are found in many pasta dishes, such as garlic, onion, or salt can be toxic to both cats and dogs, so you're definitely not going to want to share a prepared pasta meal from a restaurant. Anything that's high in salt, sugar, fat, and additives isn't going to be good for your cat, and that includes pasta and its toppings. Another type of pasta to avoid is anything that's already processed, think spaghettios, as well as instant noodles, which can be loaded with sodium. Cats can't tolerate significant amounts of sodium, and so snacking on salty or processed noodles can have serious consequences for your kitty. 
Other dangers associated with your cat eating pasta include increasing its risk for obesity and other weight-related issues. Some cats may also have trouble digesting pasta, and it can therefore lead to GI issues like diarrhea. There is also a chance that your cat may be allergic to wheat, in which case they definitely should lay off pasta and any other starchy staples. What about noodles and spaghetti? If you are wondering whether it would be okay for your cat to eat noodles or spaghetti, then know that just like pasta, noodles and spaghetti are safe for cats, but not good for them. Noodles and spaghetti may look different from penne and other types of pasta, but nutritionally they are pretty much the same. Both noodles and spaghetti are also high in carbs but low in protein, so not the most optimal food for your cat. While most types of pasta are safe for cats, instant noodles are not. Instant noodles contain a lot of sodium. Cats, however, cannot tolerate a lot of sodium, so feeding your cat instant noodles can have serious consequences. Cat's Natural Diet Cats are true carnivores which means they require a source of animal proteins to survive. In the wild, cats prey on animals that they hunt and consume raw meat, organs, and bones. As a result, pet cats will be required to be fed raw meat on a regular basis, and avoid feeding your cat too many grain-based meals as this will only lead to unhealthy weight gain. How to safely offer pasta to your cat Always be sure to check in with your veterinarian before offering pasta or any other human food to your cat, as every kitty will have unique health needs and your vet can advise you as to whether or not it's safe to share your spaghetti. If you get the green light, start with a small bite or two and see how your cat reacts. If they show signs of any digestive issues or other health problems, avoid offering your cat pasta again. If your cat does seem to enjoy the pasta, keep in mind that they should only be offered a very small amount on occasion, it certainly shouldn't become part of their daily diet. Another thing to keep in mind is that cats should never be offered raw pasta. Their bodies are not equipped to digest raw noodles, and it will likely cause them digestive discomfort if they happen to get their paws on some dried pasta. If your cat is exploring your countertop while you're making dinner and does accidentally consume some dry pasta, contact your veterinarian for guidance and be on the lookout for any symptoms of stomach distress. Pasta sauces often contain onions and garlic, which are poisonous to cats. Even if a particular sauce does not contain onions or garlic, it is still made out of tomatoes, which are too acidic for cats. So, it's best not to give your cat any kind of pasta sauce. If your cat has eaten pasta, then there's no need to worry as pasta is not toxic to cats. Yet it is not recommended to feed your cat pasta on purpose, because pasta wouldn't fulfill your cat's nutritional needs. Your cat would be much better off eating high-quality commercial cat food. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.